from Fifty Shades of Mom, and today I am bringing to you a Dollar Tree haul. I went with my husband yesterday to one of the largest Dollar Trees I think I have ever been to. He had a couple of gift cards, and he knows that retail therapy is definitely the cure for any ailment, and being down about his job, he just wanted to go shopping, so Dollar Tree shopping we went, and I was blown away by this store, you guys. My store is fairly small in like a shopping center, but this was a standalone and this was so big that I felt like I could have been in there for hours so that I didn't miss anything. So got a bunch of stuff, figured I'd show you guys what we got. Um, we got a hula hoop. Um, I actually thought this was pretty good for a Dollar Tree. Like, it seems like it'll last a while. Mason was getting a kick out of it in the store. They had all different colors, but for a buck, we got one of these. My Dollar Tree doesn't even have a freezer section, so I don't know if that's kind of any depiction of the size of the Dollar Tree that I have. So, we, Daryl grabs one of these Celeste Pizza breadsticks. It says it would go in the microwave, but I probably would still put it in the oven because I feel like breadsticks need to be like a little crispy and cheesy too. Um, but I like this brand anyways. They will go on sale for a dollar, but knowing that they're at Dollar Tree for a dollar, I thought that was pretty good. <clears throat> I know it's not good humor, but my grandfather used to own an ice cream truck, so I'm like a sucker for those old fashioned, like the toasted almond and the strawberry shortcake and all those kind of things. And there's three of them in this box. It's regular strawberry shortcake, egg clair bars. So I'm curious to give these a shot. These look really good. Um, we've had these before. My husband has grabbed them from this Dollar Tree when he used to work over there. And it's just the super pretzel, pretzel bites filled with cheese. These are delicious. And they're perfect for like a movie night or a snack. We used to get these a lot during football season and put them out on a Sunday. So grab some of those. Okay, so... Where I'm from on Long Island, Friendly's was a really big thing. Like, I know they've kind of died out a little bit, at least on Long Island. There's very few left, and I'm not exactly sure how far that they spread, but I know they have a line of ice cream in the regular grocery store, but when you would go to a Friendly's, in the front, they would have, like, a big display where they would sell their half gallons of ice cream, they would sell cakes, their watermelon rolls, and they would sell these little Sunday cups. And I got so darn excited because I haven't seen these since I'm a little kid. So I got the Friendly's Strawberry Cake Crunch. So it's very similar to that strawberry shortcake bar. And then, of course, you need to have a Reese's Pieces Peanut Butter Cup Friendly Sunday if you're going to have one of these. And there's another freezer bag. Oh, yeah, here. And then we got the original fudge sundae cup as well. So we got three of those. And then my husband already opened these, and he gave me a bite of them, and they tasted amazing. But they had Mug Brands Root Beer Ice Pops. And we're big on ice pops here. Um, I like to make my own often, but something like this kind of novelty and treat I thought was pretty good. And we already tasted them and they were really yummy. So that was a good buy for those. And there's eight in that box. Um, he picked up two of these, which if I had noticed he had picked them up, I would have stopped him because I get a big, huge box of these from BJ's and we even have them in the freezer. I don't think he realized that. So if I had seen he threw these in, I would have not got them. But not a lot of people have a BJ's or a wholesale club or even a membership to, but a lot of people have a Dollar Tree. So if you have a Dollar Tree and you're shopping there, these are a really good deal if you don't have like a wholesale club to get them from. So they're just the deep dish singles and he got pepperoni too. And this they don't sell at BJ's, so this I thought was a good buy. And he's brought these home once before and let me taste them. And they're not bad for something that you would cook in the microwave, but this is like little mini egg cups. So it kind of has like a crust, like a pizza, and they're like bagel bites almost, but bigger size and breakfast ones. So this is the scrambled bacon, egg, and cheese. Okay, so I saw someone haul a bunch of candles from there. Now, 
I'm big on candles like Bath and Body Works when they do their $8 sale during Christmas. I'm like the first one there online. Um, so I actually end up telling her a story about these Endemans candles because not a lot of people know the real story about Endemans, but I'm from Long Island and they, so are they originated from Long Island and New York. And Mr. Endeman was a baker and he started his own line of bakery goods and it became a family run business. He opens up a winery at the end of Long Island called Martha Clara Vineyards which was named after his wife. He was super big into race horses and he did a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the family still owns it. I've gone to the vineyards a bunch of times and Long Island was known for always having Entenmann's outlets and selling all of their bakery goods. When I first moved here there was no Entenmann's in South Carolina whatsoever. I'm starting to notice it now in the grocery stores and we do grab their donuts all the time, but um, they have candles at their vineyard, at their store. And I've never seen them out again in the store. Sometimes I've seen them at CVS, but that's like rare, but they had a bunch of these there. So I got excited because I love them and they had the butter loaf cake. Then they had the spiced pumpkin pie this smells like fall. Like, I'm so excited. I already want fall and summer sign in here. And they had the apple. Oh, just fell out of the little box. And they had the apple crumb pie, which that smells so good, too. So I was really excited. I bought one of every kind that they had. And then they had Krispy Kreme ones. So... I went bonkers for the Krispy Kreme ones. They had like five or six of them and I think I bought every kind. So they had the maple ice glaze. They had the raspberry filled. And it's so good. They had a Dolce de Leche, which is like a caramel. Mm, that smells really good. And they had an original glazed. There's definitely more floating around in here because I know I bought more. At least one more. Um, my mother-in-law collects M&M's, so Jake picked this little green M&M candle out to send her for Mother's Day. Um, I just got a white waste paper basket. I needed something to throw all the lint in in the laundry room, and Mason broke the one that we had in there. So I just got another garbage pail. Uh, this bag only has few things in it. What's in here? Oh, um, Maya got two plates. I got her a bunch for Easter, but she still needed a couple of more. So for a dollar, I got a, a purple frozen one and a princess Sophia because she's mommy's princess. And then I'm starting my garden and everything, which is actually a little late here for South Carolina, but, um, Things have not been normal these last few months, but I ended up getting four packages of seeds. They were four for a dollar. So I got lettuce and spinach and sweet basil and garden beans. These garden beans heirloom variety, I buy them every year from Dollar Tree and I have so many green beans, I have to like pass them out to neighbors. So that FYI, they are really good. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, well, we got this glow-in-the-dark beach ball, so I can't wait for tonight. We're going to pop this outside and blow it up and put it on the trampoline and play with that tonight. So the kids are going to love that. But it looks like it has a glow stick thing that you put in it. So if it's a, it might be a one-time thing, which I guess would kind of be worth a dollar if you were doing it for a party or something. But if you could refill the glow stick, the glow sticks are Dollar Tree are so cheap, then this would really be worth it because then you can keep re-glowing the ball. So we'll see about that when we open it. Sorry, guys. My camera died, of course, of course. Um, okay, so I got Mason one of these grow things. Uh, he's really into all those kind of like grow stuff. And this one is already big, but it says it grows up to 600 times its size. So I thought this would be a good idea to throw in the kiddie pool outside. So he's really excited about that. And I'm really excited to see how big this thing is actually going to grow. Um, we got some of these chip clips. I know that like 
usually they're kind of cheap at the Dollar Tree, but these feel pretty sturdy and there's five of them for a dollar. So for 20 cents a piece, we always can use them. So I grabbed these and picked those up. I picked up this little welcome sign for my aunt for Mother's Day. They had a bunch of these there. She collects frogs, but they have like dragonflies and butterflies and a lot of like really cute garden stuff. So I would definitely check these out if you're interested in these. So I grabbed that for her. Um, Mason just picked out a little Spider-Man ball. So I got him that. And Miss Maya was eyeing these sunglasses, so I got her a pair of these. As soon as she gets up from her nap, I want to give her those. Um, so this was another one of the candles that I found. This one was supposed to be like Starbucks, I guess. It's the white chocolate frappe. The holes I've seen, it has like a plastic top like a frappuccino would have, but this was the only one they had with no top or anything. So um, I still grabbed this one. I grabbed this coconut spray because I think this is awesome. Like this is not something I expected to find the Dollar Tree. Like I feel like their food's like usually on the cheaper end, at least mine is, but um, this to have like coconut oil cooking spray for a buck in Dollar Tree, I grabbed it, figured I'd give it a try. I'll use it for my baking. Um, I grabbed this mug. I don't usually buy like Dollar Tree mugs. We have so many mugs, but I have a unicorn tattoo. I collect unicorns. They're like super important to me. So when I saw this, it kind of just reached out to me so I grabbed this mug and Jake's gonna give it to me for Mother's Day so I got that um, I got this I love my carpet stuff I just have my carpets cleans but usually I have like Stanley steamer come in and they do like a deodorizer but this time I just have like a regular guy who put a sign up do it and the carpets came out really clean they just didn't smell like you just had someone here so I got the Hawaiian passion I love my carpet stuff so I can kind of just like freshen up the carpet a little bit um, this was another like impulse buy of my husband's. He grabbed this Mountain Dew. He was excited that it was so big for a dollar, but little does he know at the grocery store, if you catch a good deal, you can get a two liter for 99 cents. But um, it was his gift card. And like I said, retail therapy makes people happy. So if this made him happy, then good for him. Um, I got this little flower pot. I just redid my desk area and I was looking for little kind of things to spruce up and make it cheerful. So I thought for a buck this was kind of cute. I'm just going to set it here on my desk. Um, so I have another one in here, but I got um, these jars, which I thought were pretty good for a dollar. And I'm going to use this for my pantry that I'm in the middle of redoing and so there's so many things I can use these like little jars for. Uh, I know that there's another one in here because I bought two of them. Oh, yep. Here it is. Here's the other one that I got. So I got two of these and then I got this cup because I do a lot of, uh, is this it? No, this isn't it. This is this is a stemless wine glass that like is such a gorgeous color. They had cobalt blue. They had so many really pretty colors and like really nice glassware. They had dish towels that were so nice. Like when I need new dish towels, I'm going to go back because who wouldn't buy dish towels for a dollar? Um, but I thought this would be cute with a little candle on it. It matches the um, paints in my room. I thought this would be cute on my desk too to just kind of sit with a candle. And then this is the smoothie cup that I got because I really liked, again, they had all these like kind of blue ones, but I make a lot of smoothies. I thought this was like a perfect little like smoothie cup with a nice straw or even like to make homemade frappuccinos. Like I'll make frappuccinos at home, like Starbucks kind of frappuccino. So I thought this was a really good cup for that. And yeah, and this was the other drawer. And that's it. So I think we spent $43. Oh, and my husband did get a firecracker, which he said he was super impressed with. And he, he set it off last night and he couldn't believe how good it was for a dollar. And he said, don't tell anybody on your video because I want to go to every Dollar Tree and buy them all out for a dollar. So he already blew that one up, but he said that was awesome. So check out your firework end cap. They were on an end cap. So check that out there. And that is it. So thank you guys so much 
much for watching. My face will be up there in the corner. If you want to tap that to subscribe, you can check out my last video, which I'm in the middle of doing a Mother's Day giveaway. So check that out. That'll be right here in this box right here. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys. Bye.